Hello. <laughs> Today I want to give you some a few exercises that might help for Pashasana or Mills Pose. First posture in intermediate series. Um, it's one of those postures that apparently is more accessible than what it seems, but really it involves so many things. It's not easy at all, um, which it'll come if you practice your primary series constantly five or six times a week because it involves everything that primary series teaches you. So first of all is the flexibility, flexibility in the Achilles, this part, which uh, not everybody's gonna be able ever to be really flexible at. You can improve by working on it. So uh, there was flexibility here. We also need flexibility in our hips. We also need flexibility and openness in our upper back, shoulders. Pashasana also needs a lot of strength, um, strengthening our legs to hold it there. It needs us to be balanced. It needs a good rotation um, in our hips and shoulders. And it needs us to breathe comfortably there. Just that, just that, <coughs> excuse me. Colon is really bad right now. Um, so all of those things and uh, a constant practice, dedicated practice in primary series will eventually uh, make Pashasana accessible for us. Um, some people like using props. I personally don't like props. I've never learned with, with props because it's harder to don't use them. Once in a while, maybe it's okay, I guess, or if you're injured or if you want to try how it feels, right? But let's say you use the block under your heels. I don't have blocks right now, but if you use the block for under your heels, really, you're not going to use your legs at all. You're going to maybe work on the flexibility uh, of the Achilles or lengthening or getting a little deeper, but you're not using your legs. And if you're one of those persons like me that need strength, <clears throat> then that's not the option. You need to work on, even your heels are up, you need to work on the strength to stay there and the balance and it's okay. A perfect pashasana isn't with the heels down. It's just when you are relaxed, calm in your breath with a bind. It doesn't have to go all the way, just the fingers and you're balanced. And that's a perfect Pashasana also. So don't worry, don't hurry, trust the process. I love to say that because it's still completely true. So props only if, you know, just a few times, but if you can avoid them, better. So I also like telling people, because I, I tell it to myself every single day, if I'm looking for something, I really have to work for, for it from the beginning of my Surya Namaskaras. From Surya Namaskar 1, in my case, I have to work on the focus and, and the strength. If your case is a flexibility in the Achilles, from Surya Namaskar 1, you have A, number one, you have your downward facing dog, which it's a perfect place to start uh, stepping a little further back and feeling that part, feeling the lengthening here in your Achilles. You have five Surya Namaskar A's, three Surya Namaskar B's to work on that. And uh, don't skip any. Every day if you do that on every one, you'll see progress. I promise. Um, so there's a little sequence that I wanted to show you, but before that, let me just show you how it's supposed to go. Pashasana from um, downward facing dog. So right after, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see me all the way up, no, okay. So right after Parsvottanasana from the standing sequence, you do a vinyasa, downward facing dog, 
Inhale, smoothly jump your feet forward. And come to the squat. Left side first, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Five breaths. After five breaths, inhale and release. Other side. After five breaths, inhale, release. I'm still wor working on the exit, Lolasana, and without the foot that I'm doing, without the foot down, jump back. Inhale, exhale. Okay, why left side first? I don't know, but let's trust in the sequence. Okay, so this little exercise before Pashasana that you can do at home. Um, it's starting from your downward facing dog. If you want to join me. And inhale, jump your feet for Utkatasana in between your hands. Reach up. One. Two. Feel the heels down. Your feet grounded, three. Push, push down and lift your arms, four. Squeeze your bandas. And five. Bring your arms forward. One. Again, same thing. Think he heels pressing down, two. Three. Mula Banda is engaged. Four. And five. So let's go for a twist here. Bring the rib cage to the left. Shoulder on the outside of the knee. Exhale. Bring arm up. Two. Three. Four. And five. Very nice. Inhale. Utkatasana. Just to release the le release the legs a little bit. And let's get ready for other side. Really work the first plank, which is shoulder to knee. One, two, three, reach up, press your heels down, don't forget, four, and five. Inhale, arms up, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, head up. And step or jump back. Inhale. And exhale. Take a breath here. Breath. And let's inhale, jump our feet in between our hands. Let's start separating our feet. And let's come into a malasana position. If this is not available with the heels down, don't worry wherever you're at. Just try to relax here. Breathe nice and easy. Stay for as long as you want. Um, right now for video purposes, let's keep going, but you can just stay here like people do in India to watch TV, to, um, I don't know, just anything, um, any reason you, good reason you find just to squat. Okay. If this is okay for you, then try to get your feet together. Again, stay here for as long as you want. Now I want you all to squeeze your banda, mula banda, the root lock down there like you're holding it from going to the bathroom and lift 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 see how my heels go to the ground they might not go all the way but they're gonna go lower after a few breaths just relax and come back to your more comfortable position 
Repeat that again as many times as you need. Let's do it one more time. Exhale. Squeeze your mula banda, the root lock, and lift your hips. See if you can bring the heels down, bring your arms forward. You don't have to go into the 90 degree we were doing, just stay low. See if you can do five breaths, or when you're ready, just relax, bring the heels up and relax. Now you can repeat one more of those, or maybe um, you are comfortable with your heels down. You can also separate your feet slightly, if it's not possible yet, with your feet together. And same thing, just bring your arms to the front. If this is okay, then internally rotate your arms. Bring your body in, 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 and see if you can take your hands. Exhale, bring the head down. Again, you can stay here for as long as you can. Uh, but just to make this video a little quicker, last one, we're gonna do half pashasana. So right here where we are, with feet a little slightly separated, just bring your arm in between the legs, internally rotate. So this hand, for some people might be here. The more you can bring it back and the more you can bring it up high, the easier we'll get to get the bind. Okay, and exhale twist. See if you can pull the arm slightly to get a deeper rotation and release. I'm gonna turn around a little bit. Now other side, try to breathe. Nice and easy, internally rotate, same thing, and exhale, twist. Every inhale, think of lengthening out the spine. Every exhale, see if you can get a little deeper. Stay here for as long as you can, and when you're ready, release. So now the actual Pashasana. Now I'm gonna start um, with my heels up. First, left side, separate as much as you can. Don't get, don't get close yet. Now go low, internally rotate. Now try to get near the knee. Breathe, exhale, twist. Remember, heels can be up. After five breaths, inhale and release. Other side. Again, be patient in the first step. As far as you can, separate as far as you can and knees to the other side. Then right there, don't get close yet. Go low, internally rotate. Squeeze your mula banda. Lift your hips slightly so you don't sink. Exhale, twist. Relax your face, your forehead, your lips. Press your heels down, squeeze your banda, your root block. In other words, your anus. And release. Okay. So, hopefully, if you do this at home several times a week in your primary series, hopefully, Pashasana will be a little more accessible. Thank you. Namaste.